Here is question number six from your test to prepare on exponential functions, chapter four, grade 11. Question is, the value of money in high interest savings account is represented by the function a equals to 8,000 times 1.0075 to the power of n, where n is the number of months the money is invested. Part A is, what is the initial amount of money in the account? Part B is, how much money will be in the account after two years? And part C is, estimate the time it will take for the money to grow to $19,600. You may copy the question, pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestions. Part A, what is the initial amount of money in the account? The initial amount is $8,000, right? How much money will be in the account after two years? Remember, n is number of months. So two years means n equals to 2 times 12, which is 24, right? And therefore, we get a equals to 8,000 times 1.0075 to the power of 2 times 12, not 2, okay, 24. So that could be one error. So you can calculate using the calculator and write down your answer. So we have 8,000 within brackets, 1.0075, bracket close, to the power of, so we have exponent 24 equals to 9571. So it's 9571.0075. Round your answer to two decimal places. So we can say 3, 1, right? So that is the amount which will be available after two years. Part C is estimate the time it will take for the money to grow to 19,600. That means amount is given to us and we need to find N, the time. So we can write this equation as 19,600 equals to 8,000 times 1.0075 to the power of N. Now we can divide 19,000 by 8,000. So what do we get? So let me write down 19,600 divided by 8,000 equals to 1.0075 to the power of n. So we have 19,600 divided by 8,000 equals to 2.45. So we have 2.45 equals to 1.0075 to the power of n, right? So now how will you calculate n? One way is to estimate, right? So just try it out. The other way is to use log. Now let me teach you how to use log, right? So I'm taking this opportunity to teach you log. So when we take log on both sides, we get log of 2.45 equals to when we take log, this n comes here, right? So n times log of the number inside, which is 1.0075. And from here, we can find n as equals to log of 2.45 divided by log of 1.0075. Now, those of you who haven't done log yet, because exponential functions, logarithm is the next chapter, right? You can always use this formula. That means log of this number divided by log of that number gives you n, right? So that is how it is. So that's the best way to do it. And there is no harm doing it now with this method. So we have log of 0 log. So we can just type in the log of 2.45 and then divided by log of 1.0075 to get the answer. It gives us 119.925. So we can write n as 119.925. Okay. So I could have rounded to, let me write 119.993 for the time being. Anyway, these are in months. Remember that, right? So these are in months. So better way of answering is always years, right? So you can always divide them by 12 and then write down how many years. So 9.99 years, right? So that is approximately 9.99 years, right? So you can write down your answer as 10 years, right? 
So 10 years is your loss. So that is how you can get the solution, right? The other way, of course, is just estimate. Plug in a value for n, for example, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and see what best gives you closest to 2.45. So that is an estimate, which you can always make if you don't know log. But I'll appreciate you can always use this formula and get your answer. Thank you.